So come on and come on. We call on all Africa. Come, let us be our dream. The African Continental Free Trade Area finally set sail this year after being stalled due to the COVID-19 pandemic since its implementation in March 2018. This new trade block is set to boost intra-African trade, increasing economic development and sustainable growth. Its timing is expected to contribute to the elevation of economic damages caused by the pandemic. Its inauguration also comes hand in hand with the Intra-African Trade Fair held in Durban, South Africa from the 15th to 21st November 2021. It is my joy and singular honor to welcome you to this great country, South Africa, for the second edition of the Intra-African Trade Fair. We gather here in Durban, an important trade gateway into Africa in demonstration of our will as a people to defy the dark clouds cast by the COVID-19 pandemic and continue our journey towards collective self-reliance as Africans. The trade fair, which is a crucial platform to promote trade under the African Continental Free Trade Area, is organized by Afrexim Bank in collaboration with African Union Commission, the Continental Free Trade Area Secretariat, along with other key partners including African Development Bank, the UN Economic Commission for Africa, the Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa, the International Islamic Trade Finance Corporation, and the World Trade Center. The second edition of the IATF focused around the thematic area of building bridges for a successful African continental free trade area. The IATF is one of the most important events actually for Africa because it is really bringing everybody together under one roof. Uh, the policy makers, the financial institutions, development institutions and business community to really discuss the future of Africa under a very important uh, uh, agreement which is the CFTA agreement and ITFC of course the, uh, is, uh, is also a very strategic partner for, uh, for uh, the AITF and uh, we are continuing to give our support to see that uh, Africa really understand uh, uh, and benefit. Trade integration across the African continent has long been facing restrictions due to a number of trade barriers across markets. One of the reasons being lack of access to trade and market information. The aim to bridge this gap was the drive behind Afrexim Bank convening the IATF every two years, connecting sellers and buyers across the continent. The idea of starting the, the Inter-African Trade Fair really came as was the Frigsen Bank was doing a study on what were the impediments uh, that were uh, facing Inter-African Trade. Why, was, why is Inter-African Trade so low? And to our surprise, one of the major uh, issues that came up was, was lack of information. Right? So a country, uh, a producer in one country, A for example, would be producing, uh, importing something when from, the, uh, from outside the continent, when maybe country B right next door is the one producing it. So there was a huge lack of information. Africa Continental Free Trade Area is the world's largest trading area since establishment of the World Trade Organization, with 54 out of 55 countries of the African Union having signed the Free Trade Agreement. As at now, 36 countries have ratified the agreement. It is estimated that this trade block has the capacity to boost the intra-African trade by 52.3%. ITFC, of course, is uh, really partnering up with IDB, the Islamic Development Bank, to really uh, support the CFTA Secretariat and also to provide capacity building 
and uh, you know knowledge uh, sharing uh, in the beginning for many of the institutions uh, that are working uh, in in uh, in Africa. Uh, of course, we are uh, uh, aiming at also uh, providing support for more than 30 activities under the CFTA uh, agreement uh, for Africa. So uh, for us, this agreement is is very important, and I think it's going to be the uh, the game changer for Africa. However, even with this potential, its trading position in the global market still stands low. The potential is huge. If Africa becomes a single market and is truly integrated, it will really generate you know, um, uh, regional value chains which will be enable the continent to compete with, with the outside world. Uh, and if you, really, if you look at how uh, regions developed, you look at what is the regional trade between them. Europe, for example, is around 70, close to 75 percent uh, that is traded amongst them. Uh, North America is, is all around 60 something percent. Asia, the same thing. While in Africa, it's, uh, it started off with about 14 percent with the efforts that everybody's making now. We're about close to 15, 16 percent, but it's still quite very low. Once that, uh, you know, we, we open up the markets, that will develop the regional value chains and you will see that uh, tra trade picking up. It will allow uh, small companies to, to be integrated, to compete with international companies and, and, and open up tremendous opportunities for everybody, especially the SMEs, you know, which is the predominant sector in, in, in Africa. Small and medium enterprises account for around 80% of the region's businesses. They, however, mostly struggle to penetrate advanced overseas markets. Nonetheless, with forums such as IATF, SMEs are given the opportunity to tap into and benefit from the African continental free trade area. I see to gain business uh, connections that last way beyond just this period and also beyond the COVID period too. We want to make sustainable business connections so that we actually export our product going forward and actually we can have imports coming through to South Africa too. So it's actually a boost thing for us because it's an opportunity that not a lot of SMEs can actually get to actually get, off, get their feet off up the ground. So that's why we are very grateful to be here right now and looking forward to the opportunities we're going to bring moving forward. With the first two editions of the trade fair being successful, Abidjan Ivory Coast is set to host the third IATF forum in 2023. This is clear that there is the will and engagement to make Africa continental free trade area a success.